Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi We got a whisper. It's super early in the morning, dude. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a bit different than probably something you've ever seen before. It is a day in the life video, but we're doing something just a little bit different. The reason that this video is so different than anything you've ever seen before is because I'm taking you through an emotional, I'm not talking about I'm gonna cry in every single scene, dude, but an emotional and thought, you know, process of my day. Meaning, I'm gonna be very transparent with you and show you the exact motions and real thoughts, hopefully I don't get locked up, because I'm kind of crazy, that I go through on a daily basis. The reason why I'm doing this, man, is because you're probably gonna find that we share a lot of the same emotions, the same thoughts, the same fears, all the different things that you worry about that stops you from taking action. You're probably gonna find that, dang, Josh is the same exact dude as me in terms of you know emotions and thoughts and stuff like that. So why can't I take action? You can. All right, dude, now this morning, now I feel great. That's because I got some pre workout in me. But this morning, man, I spent 10 minutes in my bed thinking to myself, do I really want to do this? And that's probably something that you deal with all the time too, dude. And guess what? On the way to the gym, you know what I was thinking about? Man, I remember the good old days when I could just, you know, watch 80s Stephen King flicks. And, you know, sounds way better than having to go to the gym and lift some heavy weight. All right, dude, we just smashed some bent over rows. Alhamdulillah, I'm feeling way, way, way better than I did this morning. But now your boy's about to pray because we got like 20 minutes till Fedra leaves. So, yep, we pray right in the squat rack. Let's get it. All right, dude, uh, right now, I feel great, man. But at the same time, you know, I'm thinking to myself, uh, I have a little bit, uh, I guess, of anxiety or concern or... Um, doubt or things like that. What I mean is, you know, the content that I'm producing right now, is uh, this video going to impact you in, in the way that I intend, right? To inspire you to get out of your own head and realize that, hey dude, we're all the same. We all the same fears, concerns, doubts, demons, uh, things we need to prove to ourselves. Whatever, dude. We all have those things, you know? Um, concerned about the content that I'm putting out on Instagram the you know ultimate muslim man academy course that i'm creating you know and it's like is this you know is it worth it am i wasting my time uh you know will i have the impact that i want it to have you know those things are going through my head right now dude um but i just don't allow that to stop me and prevent me from taking action because the only way to find out is to actually do it right the only way you're ever going to find out if you're doing something right or wrong is by actually doing it, all right? So keep that in mind, dude, and go take action, man. All right, dude, just got to work, and again, we're gonna be talking about the emotions, the thoughts, and the different things that are going through my mind, just to show you that, hey, you're probably going through the same things, and it's no reason to beat yourself up and think that you can't achieve the things that you want in life, man. I'm gonna tell you right now, like you already know, dude, if you've watched my previous videos, I do it my car, you know, on my way to work. I'm telling you, dude, it's a habit, right? It's something I do, but I'm telling you right now, I have to fight myself every single day. Every single day I have to fight myself uh, and actually do it. Because I'd much rather do other things. I'd much rather listen to a podcast and not do my car. But once I'm about halfway through it, then that feeling of not wanting to do it anymore, it just totally subsides, it goes away just like anything else, man. And then you actually want to follow through, all right? So don't beat yourself up if you don't feel like doing things. There's no reason to think that you're, you know, you're you're different from other people and that you can't succeed, all right? Keep that in mind. All right, dude, it's officially 12:30, and uh, we're here on our lunch break. We've been up for about eight hours, bro, and we're still kicking it, man. We're still getting after it, dude. And uh, you know, right now, what I'm feeling is a number of different things. One of them is relief, and that is because I'm on my second time listening to the book called Man Up audio version uh, and it's written by Bedros Koulian who is a CEO of Fit Body Bootcamp. Last time I checked they do about 100, 150 million dollars annually and he was talking about a number of different things that he battled with all the way up until a couple of years ago like uh, a lot of different insecurities like being introverted, fear of public speaking where he would literally fear a, you know an event two months in advance taking NyQuil and all kinds of other stuff just to make him sleep um, and just a number of different things that I too personally struggle with. So, you know, it gave me some uh, relief to, you know, to learn that he also, you know, has overcome those things and become world renowned for those very things, public speaking and things like that. So that was very relieving. And, you know, I'm also thinking about, you know, the Ultimate Muslim Man Academy and 
giving you guys exactly what you need, right? With without going too overboard, you know, over the top because complexity is the enemy of execution. If I give you too much and it's too complex, you're not going to do it. But at the same time, making sure that I'm delivering enough value to where you feel like you've gotten your money's worth, you actually take action. And I'm telling myself, well, look, dude, I'm going to be offering bi-weekly uh, Zoom calls. So whatever I don't cover in the program or whatever doesn't necessarily make sense to you in the program, we are going to cover that on those bi-weekly meetings, inshallah, that would gel. So that solves that problem because it's going to be an ongoing value to you, inshallah, that would gel. So those are just some of my thoughts right now, what I'm thinking and what I'm doing to solve those and reassure myself and continue to take action. Your boy is hungry, dude. We're finna go get one of my favorite restaurants, Genghis Grill Mongolian Hibachi. It don't get much better than this, dude. With that being said, your boy's on his lunch break, so I'll talk to you in a minute. All right, dude. It is a finally time to get after it, man. Just got off of work. The most productive day I've had, all like in terms of actual work, work like claims. But, dude, I don't think I could look at another claim if my life depended on it because I'm smoked, man. But you know what? Now it's time to uh, go right over there and uh, start doing my half marathon training. And man, in terms of emotions, man, you know, I'm constantly, dude, like, I don't know, man. It's this constant battle between confidence, self-belief, and self-doubt because I just realize how much I don't know. The more I learn, the more I realize how much I really don't know, and I just find so many holes in my game. And uh, I, I just go back to, well, man, this is a lifelong pursuit. You know, it's not something that... Uh, I'm trying to achieve which I mean obviously I'd love to achieve it in you know today in a week in a month six months, but uh, Realistically man, it's a lifelong process lifelong journey lifelong pursuit uh, And when I look at it like that then uh, you know It's like oh well dude, you know inshallah you got plenty of time to learn these lessons man <laughs> All right that being said I'm finna go get this workout. Let's go. All right guys. This is where I run It's just a loop that goes all the way around and I'm telling you right now, this is gonna test me. Man, probably like I haven't been tested in a minute, dude, and that's because this is the hardest part so far of the training regimen. 30 seconds on, a 30 second walk, 100, uh, 100, what am I talking about? 30 second walk, a minute and a half run, and I alternate, I do those intervals uh, for 30 minutes straight. And uh, man, it was tough just doing uh, a minute, you know what I'm saying? A minute walk with a minute running so this is gonna be only it's gonna cut my rest time in half uh but hey man that's why we're out here man is to improve ourselves so with that being said i'm fitting to get after it and i'm sure i'll be talking to you uh as soon as this starts getting difficult because uh that, that's why I, I want you to see the process i'm going through how i talk to myself what's actually being said to me like what i'm actually saying to myself initially the thoughts i'm having and how i'm combating them uh to to persevere and push forward despite the pain despite wanting to quit, despite having all of those thoughts that we all share. All right, I gotta get after it. I'll talk to you soon. 10 minutes in, I'm already having to fight myself, dude. I think I probably <clears throat> might have stress fractures in my right foot. <clears throat> it's tough and I just keep having to go back and try to figure out what my why is. Because if I don't figure out what my why is, I'm going to relent, I'm gonna quit because it's just too painful, it's too uncomfortable. So I just come, keep going back to what is my why and digging deeper and deeper until I find it. <sighs> I can't talk right now. It's too hard. That's why we do this. It's because we need it. What if all your dreams are simply on the other side of the pain that you're willing to push through. What if that's the key? What if that's all it takes? Total distance, 1.0 miles. Average pace, 11 minutes, 39 seconds per mile. Split pace, 11 minutes, 39 seconds per mile. <sighs> 30 seconds to walk. And then we gotta get right back out. Woo. Just a shoe, 12 minutes. I don't know if y'all can see that. Uh, I'll probably talk to you once this is done. 
16 minutes in guys to expand on what I was talking about about your pain could be on the side of your dreams I think of the opposite I think of what if I quit this what if I quit and you might think to yourself it's just a run if you quit that's okay it's not the end of the world and the way that I look at it I got eight seconds the way that I look at it is if I quit here what if I quit on you guys when it gets too hard when I can't figure out how to help you or I get frustrated because you're not taking action you're not doing what I'm telling you to do when I know that it can help you and I get frustrated and I quit or what if I quit on my marriage if it gets too hard what if I quit on my kids because raising them is just too tough right I think about if I quit here what's stopping me from quitting there because quitting is a habit it's a habit and if you quit somewhere in your life chances are you quit in other areas of your life so that's what I mean what if you don't quit and that pain that you decide to push through is exactly what you need in order to achieve your dreams ah. I want to say I appreciate you if you made it this far. I'm always trying new things. I'm always testing new things. And I don't know if it'll have the impact or not. But I'm willing to take that chance. And if, you're, if you've gotten this far, I really appreciate you. Thank you. Jazak Loker and Malo, I reward you. 30 seconds and I gotta get after it again. Let's go. 18 minutes down. Let's do this. All right, bro. Alhamdulillah. That part of my workout is complete. 30 minutes in total. I have another 15 minutes to complete my second workout for 75 hard. I think we're on day 31 or 32, something like that, dude. Here is my official distance time for the run portion of it. Half marathon. I'm not very fast. I mean, I've only been doing it for three weeks, but I'm not very fast. But I, man, I'm very consistent, alhamdulillah. And inshallah, I'm getting better. And uh, man, you guys have just gotten a sneak peek into you know, my thought process, how I look at things. I, re I revealed some of my uh, you know, inner thoughts that no one knows about except Allah, right? Uh, we all have our fears, our self-doubt, uh, etc. Anxiety, overwhelm, frustration, all those feelings and emotions deal with them all man every single day um, and the only thing that i know is that action alleviates anxiety that's what i know for sure action is the only thing that helps me get over that anxiety and inaction is it does nothing but emphasize uh and what's the word i'm looking for um amplify that anxiety so if you're dealing with anxiety, bro, or sis, Zach Lohan, start freaking taking action, all right? Your boy's gotta finish this workout. I appreciate you so much. Thank you, guys. I'm really, really excited to eventually release this Ultimate Muslim Man Academy so that, inshallah, we together can become the ultimate Muslim version of ourselves. And if you're struggling to get stuff going, to take action, if you're battling with the same emotions that I've shared with you today, same thoughts I've shared with you today, then you need to be paying attention when I release this program because it will change your life, inshallah, if you do the work by the permission of Allah. That being said, guys, I would really love to go jump in there right now, but I don't want to go to jail and I don't want to get fired. So we'll just pretend that we did that. All right. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support and we'll talk to you soon. Oh yeah, follow me on Instagram, Project Dream Achieve It, and you'll see more of this every single day. If you need that inspiration, motivation, I post this stuff every single day on my Instagram. All right? Proving my integrity and proving that I practice more than what I preach. And all praises for Allah. With that being said, guys, like my t-shirt says, the rock in the back of it, bro. I don't know if you can even see that. Back there. Probably not. Stop stressing yesterday. Stop fearing tomorrow. Make today great. 
and I will see you guys in that next one. And appreciate you allowing me to film with the iPhone, bro. Salaamu <laughs> Alaikum.